Hi, it's Marianne, and welcome to what I'm going to start calling the Chronicles of a Disabled Crafter. If you watched my first YouTube video, you know that I talked a little bit about my funky rare disease, hyperadrenergic postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome. Hyperpots for short, and it's so much easier to say. So I think going forward from this point, we're just going to stick to that. Um, I also have started um, a blog, The Chronicles of a Handicapped Crafter, and you can um, come and check that out over at www.thehandicapcrafter.blogspot.com. So I'm sure by now you've figured out that um, I'm all about spreading awareness uh, about my disease and definitely not to be confused with the time that I told my doctor that I was all about spreading my disease. I'm pretty sure they're all still laughing, but you know, when the tongue gets tied, there's absolutely nothing you can do, and you just got to kind of go with it, so. I laughed, he laughed, it was all good. But there are a couple things that I do want to share with you today, and I told you previously that my husband um, built me a wonderful craft area um, that is made for me to be in a reclined position with everything pretty much in arm's reach. One of the obstacles that I did have was with my Cricut. Don't get me wrong, I love my Cricut, but it's big and it's heavy and it's bulky and um, you really have to be setting up to use it. So in order to use my Cricut, I would have to make him stop whatever he was doing and get it down for me. And then we would try to balance it on this board and on the corner of that board and it would be on my lap and oh my god, it was just too stressful and you know sometimes some things just aren't worth it so I finally said to him I said can't you build me a wheelchair for my cricket and you know he had that boy you missed some of your 53 pills today didn't you dear and I left and sent him out to the garage and about two hours later this is what I got so how cool is this and I can take it now and I can pull it all the way to the edge of my craft table and then I can push it all the way back and move it all around and I know you're probably thinking what's the big deal of that but let me tell you what if you've ever been sick and you've had to ask for help you know how hard it is and some things you just want to do on your own you know you just don't want to have to be bugging everybody for every move you make so this really gave me a lot of independence and I can use my Cricut now move it back and forth as you've seen I did it one-handed I didn't have to sit up and strain comes right to the edge of my table, I can do what I need to do, push it back out of my way, and life is good. But as you can see, it's still in this raw wood color, and uh, that makes me kind of sad because, you know, we're going to have to do something about that. So I need your help. I have to figure out what color I want to paint it. And of course we have the wonderful traditional Cricut Green, same color as the Cricut. Um, it's actually Delta's Ceramico Gecko but it's as close as I could find. Or we can pick a custom color. Um, the first one is bright black raspberry. Number two is sexy pink. Number three is regal purple. Number four is amethyst jewel. Number five is cherry's jubilee. Number six is modest magenta. Number seven is soft sapphire. And number eight is Bluebird's Egg. So take a look at those. And I'd really love to hear what you think. Leave me a comment and we'll see what happens. We'll alter this cricket wheelchair dolly thing and who knows. Maybe it might even turn out cute. Um, I know you're probably wondering, you know. Some of you may be wondering, what is a cricket? What does she do with it? And uh, I actually sit around wondering, what do people do without a cricket? But that's just me. But oh wait, before we go any further, if you've ever been on the fence about wanting to get a cricket and need like somebody to encourage you to do it, you have to go visit Mary over at Cards TV. Her YouTube channel is carcrazy09, and let me just tell you, I have never in my life seen anybody so dedicated and so excited about every card she makes. Um, she's made over 600 videos, all based around her Cricut and her clear stamp line. Um, she's a sweet lady, 
and uh, she's a hoot to watch. You won't be disappointed. Um, although the type of cards that I make are a little bit different from hers, um, the mojo that woman puts out there just makes me giggle, and she inspires me to be me. And really, that's what it's all about, is doing your thing, not doing somebody else's. So, uh, The two cards that I want to show you were born from the, the need of my two wonderful sister-in-laws, Carol and Dottie. They both had weddings to attend last fall and asked if I would make them um, a wedding card. So my first one I made for Carol, and um, it's actually a shaker card. Um, at the top it says Cherish. And um, this was done with the Cricut Wedding Solution cartridge. Um, I altered um, the images to fit my needs. Um, I cut out the middle of her dress, and that's where the shaker part comes in. Um, I put in the, the beads, um, the pearls, and the silver. Um, all of the lace is hand cut, hand glued. All of the rhinestones and pearls are all uh, hand glued. Um, I have now learned that self-adhesive ones <laughs> definitely are quicker. But, uh, you know, you do with what you got, and I wish you could see this card in person. It is just so pretty, and it just shines and glimmers. Um, really a beautiful card. On the inside, on the front side, it says congratulations. And then on this side, we have the just married um, car and a little section on the bottom there so you can write your well wishes. And it, too, is glittery and shiny but you know I, I know it's hard to see um, in the video but it really did turn out pretty um, and I did get to hear that uh, the bride and groom made a special call to Carol and uh, just told her how uh, beautiful that they thought the card was so I'm really pleased with the way this one turned out the second one was for my sister-in-law Dottie and she actually made the cake for the bride and groom. So keeping with her um, theme and colors, I made her a three-tier wedding cake card. Once again, using the Wedding um, Solutions Cricut cartridge and the Cricut Cake Basics. Um, I came up with this one. It has a bride and groom on the top of the cake. Once again, I cut the images. Um, and then altered them to fit my needs. I clipped from this one and snipped from that one and I can't even tell you really uh, what came from which one because I you know just did a lot of altering. Um, once again everything all the bling on here is hand glued. All the little flowers were hand cut. And then on the inside it says well on the bottom it says congratulations and then on the inside I used the Fisker's Wedding Stamp Set, and it says, From this moment on, as I have given you my hand to hold, so I give you my life to keep, to love, laughter, and happily ever after. So that's the inside. Once again, I think it turned out really cute. Um, <clears throat> I hope you like them, and if you don't, that's okay too, because we all can't march to the same tune. Um, comments and constructive criticism are always welcome. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. You, know, you never know what this handicap crafter is going to come up with. Thanks for watching, and please, at least once today, stop and do something that you like to do. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.